Hi, this is Glenn from GISUser.com, and I'm going to show you a, um, a cool app from Avenza Software um, called PDF Maps. Now, as you can see, I'm using PDF Maps on uh, iPad 2. And um, essentially what this is, is um, it's an awesome um, free app available from the iTunes Store. And it enables you to, um, to use geospatial PDF maps on your iPad. Now these are intelligent PDFs that have been uh, created using uh, Avenza's uh, map publisher software and other solutions that they provide. Now what's really cool about this, PDF Maps provides this uh, handy map store that Events has created. And actually you as a consultant or a uh, cartographer, cr other creator of map, you can actually um, author and sell or distribute your maps in this map store. So um, you should contact Avenza if that's something that interests you as a revenue stream. Or as you can tell, you can, uh, you can put your maps up here for free as well. So um, when you enter the store, you see here we've got our featured maps, popular. So these are maps from all over the place. Uh, Toronto highways, London, England maps, um, Manhattan bus maps. Let's go back to the store. I like this. Using the GPS, it um, tracks our location and it's showing us all maps that are nearby. Quite cool. Now here on the uh, Pacific Coast, I have access to a lot of hydrographic charts as you can see. Um, these are actually really, um, really attractive maps as you see here. These are free, published by NOAA. I'll actually install this. You can see how fast this is. That's an 11, 11 and a half megabyte map. It's downloading. It's my my Wi-Fi is um, is pretty quick here. Processing right now. And once it's done here, it's going to be added to my map library, and then I can use it within the uh, free application. And there we go. So that's done. That's an 11 and a half megabyte map. There you can see there's my hydrographic chart. And these are all available too. Really handy. So earlier today I grabbed this one in my area. So you can see here's the southern tip of Vancouver Island. Use the iPad zoom and pinch. So you get the idea of the uh, functionality of this app. Now it doesn't just stop there. What's really cool, it can locate me. So that's actually where I am right now. Now perhaps I'm out in the field. Maybe I'm doing a shoreline survey, which would be a good use for this uh, coastal map. Um, we have waypoint functionality. So you can see here's a number of waypoints. Go to the tools and there's a lot of things we can do. I can measure a distance. Tap the screen. There we go. 23,000 meters. That might not mean too much. so. I can change that to kilometers, 23 kilometers, done. Has other measuring functionality, so uh, can measure areas, there we go, 48,000 acres. We have a compass, so it can orient us <laughs> using the compass. I'm not going to use that right now for obvious reasons. Now, what I like best about this, add waypoints. Now, like I was saying, perhaps I'm out, um, you know, walking the shoreline, doing a beach survey, which is actually something I used to do. Um, I can tap the map to add a point, or it can use my GPS location. Now, I'm not on the shoreline right now, so using GPS wouldn't make sense. But, there we go. Um, I'll just add it for the sake of uh, any argument here. So, I've added waypoint 6. Now that's all fine, but here's where it gets really good. Here I can name it, and I can add other attributes. Now this is a field I defined, like muscles, um, and here I can enter a value. Is there muscles at this particular uh, beach loca location? Yes, there is. Close. Now this is also really cool. Uh, maybe I want to take a photo and attach it to that attribute. Add a photo. I'll just go to the photo library and just pick something. You can move and scale the photo. 
Sure, use that one. Boom, close. Okay, now I've added a waypoint and I've attached a photo to it. Very simple field data collection. There's a lot of uses for this. Um, you know, provided you have a nice base map. Done. See, there's my coordinates here. So there's there's a lot of things you can do. This isn't just a um, a simple PDF map viewing tool. It's uh, it really is a lot more. So there you have it. That's PDF maps from Avenza software.